What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. With the WWDC just two weeks away for Apple, I figured it was a great time to make a video regarding iOS 10. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the features we can expect with the new version of iOS in the next few weeks. I always download the betas, so I just wanted you guys to know that you can expect a hands-on review of iOS 10 later in the week of WWDC in June. Uh, this summer, so make sure you subscribe just for those videos that I'll upload. But here are the rumors thus far. Visually, it's going to look a lot like iOS 9, really not too many visual changes. I know it's a little boring, but the good news is that there are many features to offset this. First off, we can expect a new photo editing application in iOS 10. They are working on bringing back the Photos app to iOS 10 with many of the features that were killed off in the past. You'll get the ability to edit specific areas of photos, edit metadata directly, and they may add face detection. I think photos and video editing are always worthy updates in iOS 10, so it's great to see they're updating the photos application. For those of you who like emojis, just like me, we are most likely getting additional characters here, about 75 new emojis based on the rumors going around. Not a huge update, but it adds some spice to your texting. Something I'm personally excited about is the rumored ability to hide Apple stock apps. We can definitely expect this in the future as Tim Cook already confirmed this. And for those of you who wanted to hide the Apple Maps application for Google Maps, like me, you can now do that. There are rumors about the control center being updated to integrate 3D touch and include more customization. It'd be nice to see this. It could mimic the jailbreak tweaks that are currently out there that have gotten out in the past. I'm not going to complain about the control center. I could see Apple not really updating this. We're just going to have to wait and see. Apple Music and Apple Pay are going to get updates and overhauls, more features, nothing major, but they're going to be better and more complete. And iOS 10 will also bring iPad specific features. In terms of the release date, the WWDC is on June 13th and we can expect the beta release of iOS right on the first day of WWDC on June 13th. I've done hands-on installs with the betas of the new version of iOS right after the WWDC so I'll be downloading the iOS 10 beta right then when it's released as well and uploading a video that day on it so subscribe so you don't miss those guys. I'll do hands-on reviews and thoughts ins and outs of the operating system and I'll let you guys know what I think. Anyway if you like this video go ahead and subscribe for more content. Also go ahead and check out my links down there below to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. And also be sure to follow my Twitter, my Facebook, Google Plus page, and website down below in the description. As always, guys, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.